Say diversity. Yeah, well, one of the arguments that we've always had about the reason why we have sex education in schools is because we want to stop teenage pregnancies and we want to stop the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases. And we now have a situation where sexually transmitted diseases have gone up by 70% in recent times. We have the worst teenage pregnancy rate in most of Western Europe. And last year we had over 4,500 abortions for girls under the age of 16. Now, what concerns me is this, that, the, that Jim Knight, the government, has made a decision that this is now going to be compulsory and that they're going to teach sex education for children as young as five. What concerns me is this. These children are not the state's children. They're our children. My children are my children. And it is up to me, it is up to me to choose what it is that my child should and should not be taught. And what concerns me is that the more and more rights we take away from parents and say, it's not for you to teach your kids that, we will teach it at school, the more and more parents will say, fine, we don't take the responsibility. And that is what is leading to a breakdown in our society. What would you teach in schools about sex? I think that there has to be an age-sensitive way in which we teach sex education. But it's all graded, I do, 5 to 7, 7 it to is 11. Not, it is not. 14. I mean, we were talking, I was listening to the radio today, where they were uh, talking about young children at the age of 7 or 8, who were took, looking at uh, pictures of human beings, and they were ana uh, ana uh, talking about different parts of the anatomy, and saying, well, what would you call this, and how are girls different, and how are boys different? And they were all giggling and getting a little bit shy about it. Well, look, if they don't want to talk about it, why are we forcing? Why are we taking the innocence away from our children? Why don't we allow them to grow up in their own way? And why don't we allow parents the choice? I'm sure you're right, and most parents will have these discussions with their children, and that is the best place for it to happen, and this should not be a substitute for that. But not every parent will do that, and this information is actually too important for young people, for them not to get it. So do you think in, literally should in opt some, out? In, no, in some cases... we should opt out? No, it's, in some cases, if you're thinking, thinking about HIV or STDs, it could actually be life-saving information. Yeah, but do I have a choice as a parent? Do you feel that I should have a choice as a parent to say, I will teach my child this, not the school teacher, because uh, I'm its mother, and I know it best. I think parents should absolutely be allowed to have all of the discussions and it should be encouraged to have should all have the discussions the choice to opt out. With, their, with their children. Should but I think it is, to it is too out. important to the, run the risk well, that that child will not actually get the information they so need to keep In other words, safe. you don't think they should have the right no, to opt out. I think it should should, should Roman Catholic schools have the right to opt out of teaching about contraception, for instance, in your view? I think all young people need to know these facts. I think it is so question. important. And so, no, I, 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 I think, I think okay. there should be education So you would compel Roman Catholic schools who are opposed to contraception, who are opposed to it, to teach. I think the information should be available. They may teach it in a different way, the but the there. information should be available. Okay.